What is up guys, it's your boy Brandon back again with a 91 Miata. In the unboxing video I did the other day, you guys saw that I bought the JVC Double Din Touchscreen deck and I'm gonna try to put that in right now. Do your research before you buy stuff. Um, with that being said, I bought a tombstone for the <laughs> NA8s instead of the NA6. So the tombstone that I bought to try to replace the one I got doesn't does not fit. So don't don't be like me. Do your research first. The <laughs> the dash from an NA8 is different from the dash from an NA6. Now you know. So don't be like me. Now I got to return another thing that I bought off of eBay. But I ran into another issue because then I was like, oh, well, maybe I can just, you know, reuse the original one that I got in here, but maybe not because let me show you what I got going on here. If you guys watched my uh, deck replacement video, you'll see that whoever, whoever did the work on this car originally, whoever put in the, the sound system and the fucking... There's supposedly an alarm on here, but I don't even use the shit. Whoever put in the aftermarket shit just, I don't know if they were like fucking 12 years old or there was their first job or I don't know what the fuck happened if they there was no proper fucking kit out at the time that the deck was put in or I don't know what the fuck happened, but it's definitely, it definitely was some half-assed work. So let me show you, let me show you what I'm working with here. So if you guys can see, this is glued in there, so that might be a pain in the balls to try to get that to come off clean and not look real shitty after i take that off to make space for the double den so i'm gonna take that off and i know when i upgraded to this there was a lot of weird shit going on it was glued in in the back and the mount that it slides into was actually glued on to the other side of the tombstone so i might be able to with some snips or something maybe just get in there and get that off so no more eBay special Fahrenheit flip out deck now put a little bit of name brand quality shit in here we got the JVC going in let me get started on taking apart the center console and taking off this tombstone and seeing what I'm really working with behind there so time to turn the AC back on it's hot as balls in here it's going up to 84 today so need some AC I had to get my other screwdriver See what I'm working with here. This is the problem, child. This is why I might uh, turn that down just a little less wind noise. This is my problem, child. Right here. I might be able to save this, guys. I need to buy a Dremel. I might need to take a trip all down to good old Harbor Freight and buy me a Dremel. See that sweat? Oh, uh, that's a hard working man right there. Sweat my fucking balls off. All right, this is what I'm working with here. Whoever fucking put this in originally. Come on, focus. They done glued it in there. They done bent all the fucking tips over. They done glued it in real nice, like. Cut this off right here. Like a Dremel with a cutting wheel or something and just try to carefully cut into that without ruining the face too much of the original tombstone. All right, guys, so we are back. And the cribbo was able to yank that up out of there. But now, instead of stop at Harbor Freight in between shots, and I bought this little rotary tool kit. So I'm gonna use that to cut out this plastic right here and get rid of this little, there you can see it better on this side, and get rid of this faceplate thingy. I don't really want to rip it off because I'm afraid I'm going to break the actual tombstone right here and that's the last thing I want to do. So, I'm going to use one of the little cutting wheels on this bad boy and then go in here like a surgeon and you can see the light, you can see the table through there. 
And I'm just gonna ride that line and try to cut all that fucking glue out of there. All right guys, so I got the Dremel all set up and I'm gonna go in and try to surgically remove this glue. I do not have any safety glasses in my house right now. Instead of going out to my car, cause I'm kinda lazy and I don't feel like it. And safety is first. Just gonna protect my eyes with this. So, let's get into it. All right, this thing is super duper underpowered. If you guys wanna know, I mean, $9 just to get this job done, but I probably will never be using this thing again. Oh, baby doll. And now this ugly ass piece of butt cheeks is out of my way. We're back in action. More parts came in so we can finish this install. I got the Metra installation kit. There's the part number if anyone's wondering right there and this is made for a single din but um i followed a couple videos on youtube but i'm going to show you guys how to make this work for the double din and this is the important pieces right here these two brackets that's what we're going to need so this whole kit right here talking about 15 dollars on amazon i primed it got here in two days Whoever fucking ghetto-fied that single din in here, I don't know if they didn't know that this kit existed. All right, guys, so first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna find our pieces labeled number one. So I have both pieces that say number one right here. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is each one of these tabs on here are all labeled with a letter of the alphabet. Let's see, we got A, B, and C, so. The tabs we're gonna be using for this is the tabs labeled B. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Dremel tool again. And we're gonna cut off every tab except B. So we're gonna cut off A and C on the top and the bottom on both pieces. So the single din would fit right in here, but since I'm installing a double din, I'm gonna need to cut this piece off right here. So I'm gonna use the Dremel. I'm gonna cut this off. These tabs right here, are gonna need to get ground down as well just to make this whole piece flush so when i mount this onto the double din and put the screws in right here everything on this side will be nice and flush so let's get started all right guys so i'm just gonna file these down file these little grooves down and do the same thing on the other side and i'll catch you guys in a minute i don't want to sit here grinding this shit off all night so let's just get this on here Get some music back in the car. Oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. More power, baby. I'm gonna match it up with the holes, like so. And I'm gonna throw the screws in there. Put those on there, just snug. I wanna go crazy with them. And that's what she looks like. Gonna be real nice, like. We got our four anchor points. Now let's get this bad boy in the Miata. All right, guys. The deck is in. Just need a fill, uh, I just need a bigger trim piece to go in here. And then I just gotta file this one down a little bit to fill in this gap right here. And uh, everything should be real nice. I'm actually really happy with it. All right, guys. I'm real happy with it. It's a lot better than the other one. 
it sits nice and flush it's fucking perfect i don't have to worry about when i shift in the first i want to shift in the third hitting my knuckles anymore i mean look at the clearance i got plenty of clearance like nice and flush beautiful I'm happy with it uh i think today is a success all right guys so i just want to do a quick test with the touch screen before i call it official i have my cd right here and then i got you know what it is classic i'm gonna see if the dvd player works as well all right so let's check it out and see if it works Wake up, I'm rolling up, I give no fucks if it's war, then I'm out and up the flow, I kill and mix it up, I show no signs of letting up, I keep that drink up in my cup and all that green up in my dutch, it's always lit, I light it up. I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm shining, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, you know it's my time when I look at my watch, I never will stop, grind till I bubble and pop, straight to the top, you hook when I flop, flow clean cut like a ball with shop, money and weed on the tabletop, smoking blunts on the rooftop, burn the rubber on the black top. All right, guys, sweet. So my CD works. That's great news because in the flip out deck that I had before, it didn't fucking work. There we go. There's the eject. Anybody out there want to copy this? I'll mail it to you. Just let me know. All right, let's see. Let's see if this classic works. <laughs> Right, guys so i'm pretty stoked that that works but it's starting to rain out here guys so i gotta go that'll be the end of this video right here thanks for watching guys appreciate everybody out there uh, hit the like button subscribe i'm trying to grow the channel it'd be pretty sick to hit 100 subscribers uh, i can't do it without you guys though hit me up